Ready? Yep. Go. Yep. We're on. Okay, so here we've got a freshwater fish. Um, it actually looks a bit upside down, so I'll swap the slide around so it looks the right way up for you. Um, so we've got this fish, it's a freshwater cichlid. Um, it's gone skinny over the uh, ensuing days. So we euthanized it to try and work out why it is sick. Um, it was also doing sort of a white type poo and maybe diarrhea. So having a look at this fish, so you can see here is the mouth um, to your right, and then here we're coming into the gills got the brain, so all, all these things looked uh, pretty good. And if you notice here, oh, actually in the mouth we've got um, teeth uh, in the lips sort of thing. Oh, not quite the lips, but in the jaws here and here. Plus also you notice that this guy also has pharyngeal teeth, so it's got like two sets of teeth. Imagine having that in your throat. Um, anyway, we've sort of departed from uh, what we're trying to talk about here, but um, if you come through the gut, we'll have a look at the liver here the blue type of um, cells here uh, the liver cells you notice some of them uh, are quite small but some of them have these big uh, lipid like vacuoles so they contain what we believe as this as fat um, and it looks like it's been sort of mobilizing the fat consuming it We've got um, sort of smaller uh, regulation uh, so, and also I guess the pancreas, it looks not too bad, it's got some of these zymogen granules indicating that it has been eating, but um, not recently because um, we've got sort of fewer of these vacuolated hepatocytes. So it's gone off its food recently, and so we're trying to find out the reason why it's done so. And for this guy, we're traveling along here, this is a distal esophagus, and we keep going on here. Um, it looks like this guy doesn't actually, uh, yeah, doesn't really have a stomach, but it just goes straight, straight transition into intestine. Uh, but if you just follow that through and go south and keep going southward, where do you end up? And it's bum. Yes. <laughs> and you can see here we've got inside the distal part of the intestine, we've got some. Uh, material here indicating that it has uh, eaten a tiny bit but not a lot and you can see here to the right here that's sort of the mucus uh, lining that it coats its feces so when it comes out uh, that's why I guess a lot of fish poo uh, comes out as a string uh, surrounded by this mucus um, but you can see here there's not a lot of material within the mucus uh, and so this is probably presenting as either white feces or diarrhea or poo that's just really thin. And the reason why uh, it's got this sort of thing, it's gone off its feet and doing its uh, funny poo is that you can see here coming out towards its um, rectum, uh, we've got a lot of inflammation around the gut here. So this is pretty much inflammation and it's really bad. So we've done uh, bacterial culture just to see what bugs could be there, and what we found was there was uh, Citrobacter fruindii. Uh, so that bacteria, I guess it tends to be a secondary bacterial um, invader, so it's not a primary pathogen, but um, having a read of about the background of this bacteria, that is that it can be found in fresh and salt water, uh, but tends to be in high nutrient uh, places. So the advice I would if the client here is to do, I guess, more water changes more frequently, uh, possibly install UV um, in line to reduce bacterial load. Uh, try not to overfeed and also um, maybe get a different type of diet where it's more well assimilated uh, rather than producing waste in which the bacteria can grow on. And the latest that we've found with the um, having a read off about the bacterial as well. Uh, the books say that it tends to be resistant to quite a, a few different bacteria, so, um, so something like chloramphenicol, tetracycline, so those sorts of things can't really be used. And so what we've done here, we've also ran uh, antibiotic sensitivity and preliminary results show that the only antibiotic it is, um, what do you call it, sensitive to at the moment is enrofloxacin. So the common uh, trade name for that is Batril or Enrotril. 
Um, yeah, so that's the gut of a freshwater sickly. It's not looking too good.